My friends, it is September. I cannot believe that summer is over and that fall is upon us. Today, I'm gonna to be bringing to you my monthly favorites, some things that I've been loving in the beauty and skincare space and kind of wrapping up my summer favorites, which listen, love fall. I usually get very, very excited for fall, especially when it comes to fashion, but wow, you know, I was just really soaking up the summer sun this year, just really enjoying the stunning weather that we were blessed with. <laughs> and I'm not really ready to part with it. So this is very, very bittersweet but I had a lot of consistent favorites over the summer months. I've also used up a lot of products in the skincare world, so I just thought this would be a lovely way to round up the summer beauty, show you the things that I loved the most, and then we can close our little summer chapter and move on to fall things. I'm gonna start with my makeup favorites because they've been pretty consistent. If you guys are all caught up in the videos, you've definitely seen all of these, but that's the whole point of a favorites video, <laughs> showing you the best of the best from the month. But I just wanna shout out my everyday makeup routine because that's really been consistent consistent all month long. I have just been loving doing the same makeup. I've been keeping my little adorable little makeup bag. This particular one actually isn't available anymore, but the brand is Elizabeth Scarlet. The colors just bring me so much joy. Anyway, I've really been keeping my everyday makeup bag in the bathroom and I've just been using it every day. It just makes my applying it easy and it also allows me to just test whatever I'm using so thoroughly. So I've been loving having my everyday makeup bag. If you missed that video, I did an entire video on my go-to routine, which obviously we're gonna be switching up for fall, but if you wanna watch it, I'm gonna link it below because it's a great makeup look and it's been a look I've just been wearing every single day. Let's talk about all the products from that video, shall we? First of all, this was last month's favorite, but I'm just going to mention it again because it's really consistently been the only base I've been wearing since I bought it. I've been testing out a lot of different base products, but I just keep going back to this in my everyday makeup bag. It really is that good. This is the Chanel Complexion Touch new foundation they brought out. It's an upgrade from their original Water Fresh tint and it's got three times more coverage. It has buildable coverage and it just truly looks like your natural skin. I, I can't fault this in the slightest. It is going into the pile of one of my all time favorite bases ever. Like even my girlfriend's wedding last weekend, typically for those event style things, I reach for my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation cause that's my tried and true, but no, nay my friends, I went straight to this. This has just been heaven on my skin. I'm obsessed with it. And I also picked up the shade that actually matches me. This is B30. Previously I was mixing together B20 and B40, but you guys, I know that Chanel products are definitely on the higher end of the price point, but I just, I have to just say that this is just, it's it. This is, this is the one. Also love the very travel friendly packaging. It's just been perfect. <laughs> Speaking of bases that I love and also overly priced products, really rediscovered the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer this month. This is a product that I did pick up and review back when it was launched because we all <laughs> know and love the Luminous Silk Foundation. That was a favorite for so, so, so many years. In terms of it working, in terms of it being a beautiful product, I just have been pouring this all over my face. This little, this little sweet combo here is just, wow, what? but a delight. This has lighter to medium coverage. I find that it just gives a very, very natural, lovey, glowing feeling on the skin. A lot of concealers that I typically go for are actually quite full coverage and finish. This is just like this, this little kiss of coverage and it just makes your under eyes look glowing and alive and awake and it's just really, really nice. <laughs> it also has a lovely doe foot applicator. Can we just talk about that? It's just a delight to apply. I really love it. I have this one in the shade 5.75. I've been using it and loving it all month long. Now, when it comes to blush, I love to switch up my blush all the time. I love using so many different colors depending on the outfit I'm wearing, depending on the lip that I'm pairing it with. There's so many blushes I love. I really consistently continue to use the Laura Mercier Provence blush. I think this formula is just astounding. One of the better liquid blush formulas that I've ever used and I love the packaging, the color. It's just perfect for every day. I was really just gravitating towards this. Even though this was my favorite from last month, it stayed in my everyday makeup bag and I continue to reach for it. However, I layered it up with the little All That Sparkles blush color infusion from Laura Mercier. And this one, it, it is a blush. It's a blush. It has color, it has pigment, but it's got a really, really nice, like quite intense glow to it. It's not chunky shimmer. It is very glowy, but it's got this perfect, like for my skin tone, this particular color. It's just the most gorgeous everyday shade and those two layered up. Like I've really been loving the whole TikTok world of layering up the cream and the powder blush. And this little combo is just like a match made in heaven. But even if I wasn't wearing the cream and I was just going for powder, this is just, it's really, really beautiful. I love the updated packaging. I love how they made it this lovely little rose gold moment. And this shade just has been a 
wow favorite of mine. And going into fall and winter, I'm probably gonna be dibbling back into more of my powder blush formulas. So this is probably gonna stay in the top, but what a gorgeous everyday shade. I love this so much. Now I did already mention this in a previous video, but just in case you didn't see that, I did just want to share in my favorites because again, this lived in my everyday makeup bag all month long, but my little Inglot shadow got an upgrade. I was only really using this one and I had it in a duo and I'm like, how can I condense this even more? When I was in the US recently, I hit up an Inglot counter and I finally got my hands on the little individual pan. And so now I've just put my one little trio in here and it's all I need. It's really all I need. If you don't like to wear a lot of eyeshadow, but you do love a little liner moment, you love to just add a little something, something. This is so perfect and it's so tiny. It's been so excellent for travel. In my true honest heart of hearts, I would just have this and like a little shimmer topper and I'd be done with eyeshadow forever. That's so fine. I, maybe I could dabble with a black every now and again, but these are just my perfect shades and I feel like I've just found my perfect little groove with it and it couldn't be smaller packaging. It couldn't be better for travel. So she got a little upgrade, perfect for the everyday makeup bag. Let's talk lips, my friends. Another category that I really like to just play with and use a bunch of different things. I try to shop my stash as much as I can, but I mean, consistently, <laughs> truly forever, the nubbin that keeps on going. This is my Victoria Beckham O2 Lip Definer. How many times have you guys heard me say that since I've used it? I feel like I've used this a thousand times, at least. It's just, it just keeps going and it really is just the perfect color. I've got this on right now with another Victoria Beckham lipstick. I will say it's gotten to the point where the black uh, paint is really starting to flake off and sometimes when I apply it, the black dots go onto my lip. So it may be time to say bye, but I'm pretty determined to use this up to the final nubbin. So it's not the last that you'll be seeing of this, my friends. Uh, she keeps on going, okay? The lip liner, she's still living. Oh, hi, future me just popping into the video to say that immediately following this video, I got the most insane package in from Victoria Beckham Beauty. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. You guys, they sent me three refills of the O2 lip definer and I just wanted to say that that's one of the best packages I've ever received to the Victoria Beckham beauty team. Thank you so much. And listen, I'm gonna use the nubbin until she's done, but just so you know, the O2 lip definer is here to stay. <laughs> However, there was a new star in the lipstick world, my friends. I wore this all month long. In the last like month and a half, if you saw me in a brighter pinky red bold lipstick, it was this. This has been my go-to bold lipstick. It has just been beautiful. And this little, this little pairing right here has been perfect and worn to many occasion over the last little while. This is the Lisa Eldridge Strawberry Shock Lipstick. I can't remember what formula it is. It might be her velvet. Either way, it's on the matte side and it's just, she's beautiful. <gasps> Lisa Eldridge lipsticks are a little bit tougher to get your hands on. They are only available on her website, but they are just such a dream. And this was one of her newer shades that she launched. And what more can I say about it other than I dubbed it the lipstick of the summer. That's how much I love this thing. It was just that perfect, like bright, bold red, but it's a pink, but in some lights you're like, it's a red. It's just, it's just such a beautiful little hybrid moment. Beautiful, bold lip got so much love from me this month. I should have been wearing that right now. That's the lipstick. Big fan. So the final thing that I switched up in my everyday makeup bag this month, it's not a new product. You guys have seen me use this product many a times before, but I did bring out the good old Lancome Lashy Doll. I have been meaning to try their new mascara. However, I did have a backup of this one and I used up my Bite Beauty Upswing mascara. She wasn't empty last month and it just also no longer exists. It's so sad. It's such a sad reality. Uh, but I did go back to the Lancome Lashy Doll, which is just my perfect little fluttery light mascara. I love this one. And this is been the mascara that's been living in my everyday makeup bag. So that's little, it's new in, but it's not a new product, which is fine because it's perfect and she's a beautiful mascara and we will happily have it on hand forever. So those are all of the makeup product faves that I have in front of me. I wanted to dive into my empties now because I feel like it's a really good, easy way to gauge how much you've been loving a product, especially when you use it up. So I've got my little, my little bin of empties here. The Caudalie Grape Water Spray. Since the dawn of time, since the beginning of my YouTube channel, I have always had a can of this on hand and that continues now. Used up the big one and I'm absolutely gonna need a replacement and put it right on my bathroom counter. I just spritz this on my face whenever I feel and it feels so good. It is my preference out of the two that they have, by the way. There's the Grape Water Spray and then the Beauty Elixir. This has just always been my go-to, my fave. It's not that I don't love the Beauty Elixir Spray. This one's just more like light and refreshing to me. Forever favorite. We have a little bath time empty. This is my herbivore coconut hydrating milk bath soak. This is a rather expensive product for how many uses I find I get out of it. However, it smells so good. I wonder if there's any remnant. 
Oh, there's a slight scent remaining. I used every last speck of dust left in this thing. I poured it under the tub and I was like, no, don't be gone. Uh, they need to make a bigger container of this. It smells positively delicious and it just makes milky, milky cocoa of heaven. In the tub, it smells so good and it's just a really relaxing, lovely scent that I enjoy in the bathtub and that's an empty. This one doesn't look like it's completely empty, but I have not been able to get a spritz out of this no matter what I try. I could, I guess I could just shake it onto my hand. Figured I'd mention it anyway, the way leave-in conditioner. Now this scent can be a little bit strong for me sometimes, but it's a product that's been in and out of my hair care routine for many a year now, and I just really like it. It's a great leave-in conditioner, and I'd happily pick up a new one. She's, she's a beaut. I'm a little bit embarrassed to mention this next empty because I feel like I just talked about the fact that I just picked it up, but I don't know what that says about the intensity of this or like how much I feel I need, or maybe I'm just absolutely suffocating everyone with how much fragrance I put on my body on a daily basis because it is a problem. And Dan comments on it a lot. He's like, babe, why are you spraying so much? Like, because I love the smell. I want to smell good. Uh, but the Malin and Getz leather, fragrance that I love so dearly is gone. There is a little splash in here. I've got like one use out of this left, but continue to be the favorite. This is just, she's my go-to. I just can't get enough of this scent. It's so good. And I used the whole freaking bottle up in the last month. It's insane. I literally spray it everywhere on my body, but also like, give me a bigger bottle. Malin and Getz, give me a bigger bottle. There's not enough of this. I love this scent so much. And keep in mind, like this is empty while I still use my other fragrances, you know? Like I have, I have other flavors that I enjoy. I've never used up a fragrance this fast in my life. Maybe we need some more intensity here. I don't know, either way, love it. I'm obsessed with the scent, it's so good. If you smell this, just know this is what I smell like and that is my preferred flavor. We've got some Caudalie empties, my friends. I feel like I referenced the, the death of this eye cream so much, but it is officially finally gone. I was like literally bending this thing and squeezing every last morsel out of here, but this is the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift Firming Eye Gel Cream, and it's so good. I use this day and night. I don't always remember to put it on. I am slightly more inconsistent when it comes to my eye cream, but when I do recall, this is my favorite. I've used this one since before their lovely little rebrand, but love, love the cohesive packaging across the line. It's so beautiful and this eye cream is beautiful. Speaking of the resveratrol line, I was actually really sad and kind of shocked because it made me realize, wow, yes, it has been over a month since I was in Napa with Caudalie and I've completely used up the resveratrol lift instant firming serum. And this was the cute little one that they had sent prior to the trip. It's got my, my name written or half written now because it's been rubbed off with use, but hopefully you guys can see what I mean. But yeah, I used up this entire serum. It's a completely empty bottle. I was literally like scraping it off <laughs> and it was just giving me little half spritzes. I was like, surely not. Surely this isn't already empty, but yeah, I mean when you're using it all over your face and also all over your neck and decolletage, it goes by quick. I don't have like final thoughts to say on this other than since I've been using it, I stopped using the retinol and I've been just using this because apparently it's two times more effective than retinol, which was pretty mind blowing for me when I heard that and got the presentation from the founders of Caudalie themselves. And I was like, anything you say, Mathilde, yes, drench me in this. <laughs> but I have been using this day and night and it is really beautiful. It feels amazing. And hopefully it'll keep my dark spots and aging at bay. I guess we'll find out in like 10 years how my wrinkles are looking, but this is beautiful. And I also have a refill on hand. So it's a product that I'm gonna continue to use as well. So she's an empty and she's a beaut. Ah, this is always a sad one. My Zio Complexion Renewal Pads. I feel like these went away way too quick and I have been trying some other ones. Since this was made and empty, I have been switching it up and using other pads, but I just feel like my skin is unhappy without these. It just really does a lot for like the texture and brightness in my face and I'm really missing these. So I think I'm just gonna have to go repurchase them because they are so good. Price tag we don't love, but we love these Complexion Renewal Pads. And finally, my friends, the last melons. I've got two lip balms, the By Terry Balm de Rose, the Nude Sticks Nude Skin Hydropeptide Lip Butter. There's so many lip products that I love and enjoy, and there's various versions of hydrating lip things hidden amongst every crevice and corner in the house. <laughs> so I was very impressed that I had two empties this month, but love both of these. Typically I keep this one on during the day because it's more of like a glossy finish. And then this one I use at night to keep this on my bathroom counter and put it on at night, but they're both beautiful. I would recommend both of them and I would absolutely repurchase both of these. Lots of empties, lots of consistent, excellent favorites that we've had this month. And that my friends completes my favorites from the last little while. Those are all of the products that I have been loving. Those are all of the products that have been gracing my face and body. 
Question mark. No, just face, it would appear. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Please let me know all of the things and products that you have been loving or not loving this month. Let's have a little chat and let me know what you think about my favorites and the products that you have absolutely already seen me talk about before. <laughs> I feel like this summer just brought about so many lovely product discoveries and so many products that have just been consistent in my routine. So very happy with this lovely little roundup. And again, it's very bittersweet because now we're going into fall. We're leaving summer behind us. So if there's anything in particular that you wanna see from me, going into the fall season my friends I think we're gonna have a really nice big beauty switch up for fall you guys I'm excited to kind of embrace some of these deeper lovely tones getting really into the fall spirit this year so be on the lookout for all that fall content all those fall vids from me coming up fam thank you so much for being here and for watching this video as always you guys and I'll see you very very soon for a new video bye